Hi there Fabric Jugglers, it's Babs here from My Fiery Phoenix and today I'm going to be taking you through how to use this little foot here which is the um, pin tuck foot and it has a selection of um, rows or divots along the bottom which you use to feed through the fabric and make sure that all of your alignment is equally spaced and through the top you just have these simple little serrations here uh, one thing you do need to be very, very careful about is that your needles do not punch this particular slot here. It is quite far forward and I found that this particular foot doesn't work for my machine. However, the, um, the one with more slots in does. So this is a seven slot and it doesn't actually work for my Singer tradition. However, the nine slot version of exactly the same foot works perfectly for me. So... Uh, Go grab your goodies and I will walk you through how to use this foot to create this beautiful pin tuck effect using this very simple little foot. Grab your goodies and let's get started. So I've already thread up my machine with two threads. Again for clarity I'm using blue and red threads. Here is the nine slot uh, pin tuck foot which I've already attached. It is a simple bar attachment so if you need to know how to use a bar attachment there is a tutorial. I'll pop a link up in the top right of the screen. We've used two different threads. I have a single um, a single thread holding machine so there is another tutorial that shows you how to use two threads for your two needles. Uh, again, I'll we'll put another link up in the corner for you. This might be a link heavy video simply because it's a very simple process but there's quite a few steps to go through if you're not used to them. Now what I'm going to do is we get a pin tuck effect simply by sewing through a single layer of fabric and um, hopefully you can see the um, the bobbin thread pulls the two edges together to create a pinch effect which is what gives us this nice pin tuck look. So I shall pop this down and what we're going to do is align the last pin tuck that we had with the, I'm using the second hole on my foot. Simply sew through as I would for any other project. Once we have got to the end of that row, you'll see that the bobbin thread has worked its magic and everything has tightened up nicely underneath and we have yet another beautifully aligned row of pin tuck. As I say, I've used blue on one side, red on the other, purely so that you can see that in the tutorial, um, but uh, there is no real need for you to be using two separate colours. You can, you can use whatever colour combinations you personally prefer. Um, and that's as simple as it gets. I'll just run another couple of rows through, so we'll leave a gap uh, and create some more rows of pin tuck. And just so that you can see what we would do if we have uh, a brand new line, this is what one row of pin tuck looks like all by itself. So here we have our first clear row of new set of pin tucks. I've positioned it in the third channel and we're just going to sew along a second row so you can see how simple this process is if you're starting from scratch. And here we have two beautiful pin tucks. And really that is all that there is to the process. You have your batch of five here. And you can see this is what the front looks like. That's the first batch of five that I did for the tutorial. And then here we have what the reverse looks like. You could also use this foot to capture cording um, and have this zigzag effect over the top of it if you were to run the cording through one of these little grooves in the bottom of the, uh, the foot itself, in which case you wouldn't sew on the right side of the fabric, you would sew on the reverse so that this would become the uh, the correct right side that you'd be looking at. And um, 
really that is as simple or as complicated as this particular foot gets so if this is something that's been useful to you then please give it a thumbs up share it around um, and uh, maybe if you think more of this type of, of tutorial will help you in your sewing and crafting then please subscribe to the channel I upload twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays and if you have any requests or suggestions for tutorials then please drop those in the comments below I'll speak to you again soon bye for now